Hi, uh, in this video I would like to explain the concept of specific heat at constant volume. So let's take a cylinder, doesn't matter if it's a square cross section or a round one, and let's put a gas uh, inside it between the walls of the cylinder and the face of a piston. The piston is shown here in green color. Because we are talking about specific heat at constant volume, we want the volume of gas to be constant. And so this piston will not move in this particular experiment. I uh, will fix it uh, during this. The next step is to give some heat to the gas. So we put a burner and we give heat. We are giving a heat delta Q to the gas. The gas takes that heat and can do two things with it. Its internal energy delta U will increase and the other thing that it can do is to do some work on the piston that is delta W. In this particular case the piston is not moving so the displacement of the piston is zero. So although there is force on the piston, the work done uh, on the piston is zero. So delta W is zero. So the delta U that remains increases the pressure of the gas and the temperature of the gas. And in specific heat, we are concerned with the temperature. So it's an animation once again. And now we look at the graph. Uh, so we will draw a graph of pressure versus volume so that we understand this uh, story uh, side by side. So the graph on the left shows the pressure increasing at constant volume. The volume is not changing on the x-axis. The graph on the right shows another way in which pressure and volume increase with each other but then both are increasing together so that's not concerned here. So we'll talk about the specific heat only at constant volume. So we supply heat energy uh, to a gas of mass m, its temperature increased by delta T. So specific heat per unit mass is defined as the heat required to increase the temperature of the unit mass of gas by 1 degree centigrade. So you do delta Q per unit mass m per degree rise in temperature delta T. And therefore the units are joules per kg degree Kelvin. A more popular way of expressing specific heat is CV as different from SV. The only difference here is instead of mass in kg, they consider the number of moles. So you divide the whole thing by N, which is highlighted in red color. So instead of M, you use N. Therefore, the unit also becomes joules per mole degree Kelvin. All the other things are same. I hope this uh, video was useful to you to get a uh, feel for specific heat at constant volume. Thank you and have a great day.